What is up and what is good YouTube the World Wide Web as you guys can see in full live HD It is your host of the most Paul Cantu. I do not know why I just did Well, I just did that. It's like some Barney shit I love you You love me Tripping But it's your host of the most Paul Cantu back at you guys with a new episode of Sneaker Steals Now today's episode I have two Plato's Closet finds by Paul and both of them are really really dope sneakers so without further ado, let's get into the first pair right now. Boom! So the first pair of shoes your boy got up are actually padlocked together with this weird ass plastic chain. So let's go ahead and cut that shit right now. I had to cut it. <laughs> My horse always comes in handy. But anyways, the first pair of shoes I got right here are the Kamikaze 2 Voodoo's. And again, they were a Play-Doh's Closet purchase. And I got this pair of shoes for the low price of only 18 buckarooskies. Now these are absolutely insane. They combine a really sick Oreo colored anaconda with some gold hits of Voodoo Flame. It has tiny little stars forming all types of constellations in this dark and navy blue coloration. It has rumpled stiltskin gold embroidery on the tongue with the snake slash dragon scales texture just completely pulling the entire shoe and silhouette together. It has a big ass gold medallion hit right there with the Don't Jock My Cogba Hop Off My Reebok logo all embroidered in the midnight black colorway. A dope little pull tab on the back and a very, very sick and luxurious interior with some weird ass like Mayan slash voodoo calendar on the inside of the insole. Now these shoes are definitely fucking sick. A lot of people sleep on Reeboks. But anytime I see a pair of shoes in the thrift that looks very dope, just know I'm going to pick it up no matter the name, the brand, or any of that shit. If something looks cool and you guys can see yourself rocking it, then that's what you guys need to do. Fuck all the hype. Wear what looks good on you. Don't wear what doesn't. And just be your damn self. But again, if you guys want six shoes, 18 bucks to play those closet, are you fucking kidding me? We out here cashing out with the motherfucking voodoo kamikazes. All right, now the second pair of shoes your boy got up are of course a little bit more hyped on because this player just won the NBA Finals and they are the... Boom, motherfucking burgundy brawn bronze. Now you guys should know I'm so out of touch with the sneaker world. I don't even know the proper term or the nickname for these shoes. But again, if I see some dope shit, just know I'm gonna cop it. And these shoes were very sick and they were only 36 bucks, which in my eyes is definitely a steal of the deal. But they have really cool bubblegum boys. Join the movement, we pop in. Mesh all on top of this fine wine aged burgundy and 1980 ass Merlot type of shit. But these shoes have a really huge pink hit on the interior, which is definitely dope. Breast cancer awareness and also, look at that, who wouldn't want to fuck with these? So basically they have the burgundy upper, a silver check, some nice highlighter, a coloration forming checks on the interior, and adding some little accents. On the back it has some fucking Michelangelo, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Leonardo da Vinci, that is actually the word I was looking for type of design on the back showing LeBron in this weird helix. The bottom of these shoes definitely are sick. It got the little uh, uh, 30 Oh, I got these for 30 not even 36 It got the $30 price tag on the bottom. Too icy for your wifey with the helixes forming all types of modern technological support and shit. Shout out Nike Lab one time. But yeah, man, I just figured both pairs were definitely a very sick acquisitions in very great shape. And these LeBrons are actually custom because the fine folks that play those closet went ahead and actually sharpied $30 right here, in case you guys didn't know, boom, they're 30 bucks. We're gonna go ahead and fuck these up real quick. They might as well just wrote it right there. But either way, I'll probably remove that with some nail polish remover. But again, this is just a quick and sexy episode of Sneaker Steals telling you guys, hey man, wear what the hell you want, hit up thrifts, hit up Plato's closets, even go on eBay for Christ's sakes, just don't make a bad decision. You guys can find a steal of the deal on any sneaker that you guys can pretty much want. It's not always about the hype, but you guys can find really, really good ass shit that fits your personal style or preference, unless you're a complete fuck boy, for well below retail. So do not ever hesitate about hitting up some outlets, some thrifts, or whatever the case may be. You guys can find some shoes that'll keep you way too icy for that dude's wifey. Mr. Steal Your Girl will be you if you find some cheap shoes. Peace and love. I will catch you guys next time. It's your host for the most signing out. Ha! Locked and loaded, fully toted. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life by Rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.